Hello and welcome back to the Boise State Game Pants Esports Arena. You are watching our co our coverage of the ECAC Collegiate Valorant League. Boise State is trying to pick up their first win tonight against Wichita State University, who is seed one in this bracket. I am your host, Colby D'Angelo Alloway, and joining me to call all of the action is Brenner Bear Lad. We are currently the seed nine team. What's it going to take, Brenner, for us to take down the number one team? I mean, Wichita is a mountain within themselves to climb. They're a huge behemoth. They have a player on their team who is number 90 in all of America at the moment. Yep. And so it's definitely going to be a struggle. We are lucky enough to be able to starting off a map that we know very well, which is Bind. So hopefully we can see Boise State at least have some home turf that they're very comfortable with and know well. But then again, all these teams know these maps very well because they've been what they've been playing all the tournament. And also I'd like to mention that this is quarterfinals. Like, yep. This is top yep. eight. This is the best of the best for the ECAC. And the team really needs to sure up. Definitely their communication and their rotation lines is something we've seen them struggle in the previous match. It is of, you know, getting cut off in rotations and deciding of when to push and having that sweaty comms that we talk about so often that I'm very conveniently <laughs> wearing at the same time. So planned. But hopefully we can see them improve going into this matchup because – it's, we're going to say it again and again. This is a mountain to climb of Wichita being number one. It's daunting, but you have to go in it with a positive mindset of, we can do this. And before we get into more specifically what we can do, we are going to take a quick look at the event tonight, which again is Wichita State versus Boise State is a best of five the best of three first to 13 and it's and the map swaps after 12th round which is very very traditional we're very used to this we've been doing this all season just to get to the quarterfinals here in ecac collegiate valorant and now to move on to some more general tips that both of these teams can use is doc's keys to the game which in Valorant is to focus angles and to flank. You need to know your win condition. You need to count cards and call abilities, and you need to click heads. Doc's Keys to the Game are brought to us by Drop In Gaming. Drop In Gaming is the premier online platform for gamers who seek competition. Play your favorite games to win cash and prizes through paid and entry matches and through paid and entry matches and tournaments. Whether you are new to the scene or a seasoned veteran, Drop In Gaming has the right games and competition for you. To begin your competitive gaming journey, sign up at dropingaming.com. So some very notable players that we have on Boise State would be Dreammaker and Panda. And if they want to try to stand up against the likes of Truman, which is ranked, like you said, ranked 90 in North America, which like, oh my gosh, what are they going to have to do to pick this up and kind of like bring themselves to like a top 90 player? It's going to be that situation that we talk about in Overwatch a lot, which is the individual play versus the team play. So a lot of the times in Valorant is, you know, even in Docs Keys, we talked about that it's about clicking heads. So having yeah. that individual skill of having amazing aim is fantastic. But in Valorant, you want to have the team play in order to set up those cross angles on the map, have the map awareness, call the ability he's and make sure you say, you know, they just use scouting arrow here. They won't have it here. They just use smokes here for certain characters. It's really going to come down to on top of all of that, your comms of when do you say it and when do you, you know, hold it to yourself so your teammates can hear the footsteps of them coming around the corner to swing you and get that elimination. So it's going to be that team play of if we're on attack, all right, we have to push together at the same time, really throw them off rather than kind of stagger and just let them hold the trigger and just keep firing as we walk in a straight line. So hopefully we see Boise State also spread up a little bit as we're going right into the draft with Boise State kind of going with their typical pick for bind with a little bit of a change with j -Bag now on the omen. Something we haven't seen nearly as much, but ever since his changes have definitely been more prevalent in the meta. And you definitely don't want to ego peak Truman, just as a final <laughs> little thing there. That's your I killed top 90 player. Woohoo! Like, no. <laughs> well, well <laughs> yes, that is agent. great if you can manage to do that. But the odds are most of the time you're not going to be able to do that. Are there any map-specific strategies that you'd like to highlight as we get right in? 
I mean, from just looking at this at a glance, already you see Truman on the Sage, which is something we don't normally see on this map. Usually Boise State actually likes to bring her for their own strats on the A. You wall it up, drop the bomb, and back off, or drop the spike in this game, rather. her. But just looking at the agent differences between these two teams, it's always going to be he uh, comes down to the abilities. I mean, the, we're going to see a chamber on both sides. It's going to be the Silva on both sides. Panda sticking to their traditional jet that they know and love. We're going to have the Raze on both sides. Or Raz, sorry. Yeah, so it's really going to come down to really the Omen and the jet and what the Sage and the Brimstone can change up here. Because it, in these early rounds, we've seen Boise State succeed. But the higher rank they get, it's been a bigger and bigger issue. So already if we take a look at who's buying what, we can see that, you know, there's the one frenzy, but everyone's sticking to kind of their classics and ghosts that they know and love. And it's interesting positioning for Boise State, who is in the red attacking first, or in the blue. Yeah, in the blue defending first. All right, confused from the colors up top. That's my bad. But... Hopefully we can see them play a little bit safer on the defense, especially going up against such a high team. Using the arrow immediately for scouting, we'll get taken down. So Dreamaker's playing a little bit safer as Pain is trying to get out the aggressive with the jet. Even dashing out, able to pick up the first. Big. W Panda getting that first elimination on a Kaba is huge and puts Boise State at the five versus four, which is very, very favorable. But you have to imagine a number one seed team like Wichita State. Five versus four might not be enough here. Boise State is not out of the clear yet. Yeah, down but not out. Able to at least scout it out from behind the boxes. It sends a little early shots, but this is an issue we've seen Boise State in before. Of They have to remember their defenders and can just hold. You will normally hear them having to push up. Yes, shift, watch, shift walking eh, is a thing in this game to minimize footsteps, but... You have the abilities to capitalize on it. We do see Jabald here with the Magnum looking for that extra peak. He has the crossfire set up. Even sees the gadget destroyed, which is a huge early no. game. Gonna have to use the rendezvous to get out, but he's down to 16 HP. Very, very scary and wasn't able to capitalize on either elimination. Shells is gonna get the elimination on Truman though, which is huge. They will trade though as Pizzasaurus is gonna take them down. But Jabald is gonna immediately take down Pizzasaurus after that, leaving Boise State four to two, almost three to two, just because of how weak members of Boise one State are. Remains. That is two much. J-Bag is gonna get the elimination on Gene. That is leaving three versus one. Ooh. Boise State's gonna get that. And you know, first round, great round for Boise State to win here. Yeah, Dreamaker had that high ground and just started spraying shots through the boxes. If they get hit, they get slowed by the bullets, which means they can dodge, and now they have to just take that fight. He was able to just poke him down. Even 90 get eliminated was huge for Boise State. He, with three members surviving, that's a huge econ lead for them, especially early on. I expect to see all the Spectres come out here for Boise State just so they can continue this lead forward and maybe snowball a little bit as we do see at least Dreamaker bring it out. That is good. Boise State winning the first eco round. It puts them in a good position to win this round yeah, two as Sova's arrows are just going to kind of come out. They will discover some members on the side of Wichita State here. Dreammakers not trying to peek that. W Panda sure is, though, and they're going to get Pizzasaurus for their efforts. Yeah, the Boise State, he, very little aggression that they have been applying have been working out in strides for them. And it seems, once again, Wichita State enjoys pushing this B, and it's not working out for them. Most. Dreammaker's trying to put some bullets down range, just not able to hit any. Does have the six bullets Big. remaining, and Panda with a triple! You know who can hit, though? Panda sure can. We were highlighting Truman as one of the main members to watch, but it honestly it looks like W remaining. Panda's the one doing what? the package here. He's looking for the Penta. He oh. wants it. W Panda's cracked these past couple of games. That is a flawless winner. That is a flawless round two win, mostly off of the backs of Panda. I mean, when you get that Sheriff in hands, you can just start hitting those one dings, instant headshot kills. I mean, it's exactly what you want from these early rounds. They can't afford maximum armor, so they're weaker. They are more susceptible, susceptible to those one shots. But now with a full buy coming in, full or Wichita, they have the Vandals, the one Spectre, surprisingly, and the one Phantom with one member of G having the light armor. But for Boise State, Panda just went straight for the Operator on round three. 
That's a power move. It does look like Wichita State is trying to push into that B lobby there as the teams are scouting each other out. They're moving up into B long. Their members, number nine, is staying in the back a little bit there. Jabald is, knows they're there, I think, but isn't willing to peek it just yet. Ooh, sees one, Ooh. but Vandal always wins that fight. No. That's twice now. And Panda's down with the up, and Jabak gets it. Oh. Yikes. Planted. So Boise State down three. Definitely in a bad state here, but they're going to have to take Player this fight. Dead. Odie's able to get one, but Jeem's on a triple here. Dreammaker might just have to run for his life and save the Econ. Instead, no. they're going to run up on him. And Dreammaker was honestly much too close to them on that site there on B site to have been able to have gotten away. So there's not much they could have done there. Shells did stop Boise State, did stop Wichita State from taking the flawless victory on Boise State there, which will help our eco a little, but we still full white. Yeah, and Panda lost that up, so he had $80 left. So the yep. only thing you can do is maintain the classic and buy armor. You can see Dreammaker ends up going for the Vandal and only getting the light armor, saying as he ran out of cash. But Jeem has the op now. That is a huge loss for Boise. Losing that op, especially so early on, can give Wichita State the edge they need. We'll probably Dire want. situations. We will want to avoid B long here, which it looks like with the members split between A site and B site. Number nine is definitely trying to camp that B long, which would be where the operator is going to get the most value on this map here. And Boise State needs to avoid that at all costs. Panda, Panda does. Is going to commit the ult. Yeah, he has the blades up, looking for one. He knows they're going to push it. That they're set up. Misses two. Oh. We see j eliminated. Oh, misses all of them. That's the only utility Panda had. And does keep him at bay. It's a minute remaining on the clock. And they know Panda's there, too. They're just waiting for him to peek with that pistol. Great rotation from Wichita. Immediately all the way over. 2A with that teleporter. Her Jabal taking a little bit of poke damage through the wall. Swings oh, it. No. Doesn't get it. Boise State is now down two left. going into this and with two of their own members really weak and Panda the only one at full health. Boise State might just have to take the loss this round. Still have the three members remaining. No near where near a health advantage. Only Panda oh, no. had the full health and was immediately headshot down. Oof. Shell quick, wants it. Quick peek the angle and immediately retreated. Could not take that fight. So, Boise State just needs to survive here. And like you said, this is a round that they just will have to give. Shells is looking to re rendezvous there with the last remaining member of Boise State in B Hall. They're trying to stay away from that A point because that's where they know Wichita State is at. Yeah, so that will just be the round for Wichita. They're not even going to so seek them out. Maybe the Raz might. Chamber is going to get over as well through the teleport in mid. I mean, they're just going to have to have that cross angle. Boise is set up very well here to at least defend, so that will be it. Boise State just ended up giving that round, and now we are tied 2-2. Two to two. Next round will take the advantage 3-2, to two, and either team is in a good position to do that. Boise State still slightly down on the eco here. Yeah, strong start, but have not been able to continue once the guns were in the hand of Wichita. Boise State only had the advantage for the first two. I mean, they had the op. Panda losing that op was yep. detrimental and has cost them dearly ever since. Especially because Panda appeared to be the carry for those first couple rounds that Boise State won there. So Wichita State did a fantastic job at taking that op from, from us. So now we're just going to have to push with the Vandal. The slowing orb comes down. Punch room against oh, first no. elimination, but Good. evens out. That is both teams, even members of Boise State, have been taken weak there. You can see the Boise State Sova has taken a lot of damage. So this might actually be a deceptive 4v4. Yeah, it's really going to come. I mean, Sova did lose a lot of health there for BSU, but Wichita did lose a member. It's still even across the board. They did lose the Raz hold that they did oh, build. No. Yeah, it's definitely Truman is not one to miss and with Dreammaker having 30 HP is not looking good to defend this B site what but that damn I believe that was with his well Sage used the res to bring back the Silva and then he ended up just getting shot by the sniper we just didn't hear the sound of it firing 
That is one member on Boise State here. He's trying Ooh. to run to A site. Is going to get caught out by Kappa, though. Kappa, though, excuse me. And that is Wichita State with a flawless victory because they committed the res. That is all five members. And Wichita State is kind of rolling Boise State in terms of eco right now. Yeah, it seems they did end up giving up the op, or it was simply lost. We weren't able to see that. So Boise State in a really rough spot right now. I mean, only pin the return of the sheriff could be very good, but only three members have even light armor at best. This might just have to be a save round, other than the buying of sheriffs from light armor for them. Um, whereas Wichita is just rolling right along with what they have. Boise having to get very aggressive since they only have the pistols. Little bit of poke damage onto the Sheriff, but Panda Big with the Sheriff. Up. Panda with the Sheriff again on the Truman. This might be Ooh. the return of Boise State here. Panda's, oh no! Jeem is going to take Panda out, leaving Boise State now only up one. Yeah, so Panda just aiming too far down and to the left for that angle, but Dreammaker still has his own Sheriff. It's all the way down on by Lobby. Tor towards the attacker side, but two pushing him. He set up, they might see his gun barrel around the corner. They do. I think he wants him to see his gun oh, barrel. Oh, they did it! The there it is! Five Dream Maker, with B. that felt like a little bit of a debate there as they're gonna upgrade their gun, and that is four members to, to Wichita State's one. Yeah, this is something that I even say in Warzone is scraps, my lord, because you eliminate the enemy and take their gun immediately. And it's exactly what you should do in Valorant. It's been working out with Tyson, the last remaining member, a 1v4 situation. There's the paint can no! right in the box in front no! of him for the smoke. He gets a double. Tyson, no, don't do it to us. That is two members of Boise State remaining against Tyson. They were able to take down half HP, though. So. Every elimination has been in lobby. Got it. There it is. <laughs> All right. Did have to commit the ult to it, but did end up closing it out. So a bit eh. one shot, one kill is all right for a chamber ult. You just wish you could have used it for a little bit more, but he wasn't pushed. They went all P-Lobby, and Panda got those early two eliminations. Quickly followed by Dream Maker. I mean, the recap of this play, how did you not see the gun around the corner? He even checked it, too. I mean, that must have just been an inch of missed line of sight. So now, Boise State does have the econ advantage, goes for the full Vandals with a Phantom and full armor, whereas on the side of Wichita, they do have one classic. Boise State is gonna try to turn this around as everybody's mostly in B lobby here for the side of Wichita State. They're moving together with the exception of number eight. They're going into A lobby, just trying to see what they can see and hopefully get some flanks. It looks like they're gonna back up and maybe rendezvous with their team here. W Panda has the flank. Set up in BX, it has the flank, gets the elimination. Looking for that second one. Oh, no, he gets up, it. Getting it. Even dodges the... Uh, Sova ult, it's absolutely fantastic. Panda, ooh, barely missed a few bullets on Truman on that Sage. Shells is just spraying and praying in that smoke there, Panda. He almost got it. Panda's oh, on right the there. hunt. He's oh, right there. this is one of those times as soon as they walk through that door. Yeah, hey. there we go, They're not Panda. a triple. Oh. No. Not quite what we were looking for. Is Cap is going to get the elimination on the panda that is leaving Boise State up one though still. Yeah. Shells had to commit the satchel charge. There goes the beam from the brimstone. That's the ultimate committed. There it is. Jayback pushes up, gets one, Big. and the second. So that's a double triple. I mean, Boise State two members just went at it there, and it paid off. That's a huge econ boost seeing three of them live as well. We did end up losing Panda, which is unfortunate as they were our primary eliminator for the past several rounds, actually. Panda! Panda feels like the determining factor for Boise State right now. Like, the other individual members are doing things, but it feels like Panda either eliminates half their team and that's how Boise State wins, or they're unable to do that and Boise State can't pick up the win. Well, we are only four and three now, so there's plenty of time. I'm on top of this is map one of possibly three, at least two. So both teams have plenty of time. I mean, Panda, as we've been saying again and again and again, Panda's definitely been the biggest playmaker for Boise State so far. j trying to follow him up. They do have both ults for both the Sova and the Jet, the Blades and the Arrows, whereas Wichita only has the Raz Rocket. 
So maybe could have a flashy play. Drone so does drone come out. Come out. He's going to get shot down immediately. BSU Shells, I think, has been one of the other big playmakers for Boise State here. Can use the Sasha Charles to try to get the high ground and have the line of sight there, especially the spraying, but you only have so much ammo that you have to play a little bit more conservative there. Her but Wichita is just going to have to go for time here, just slow play the best they can. Doesn't even check the high ground either, where Shells is just Hiding in that corner. Pizzasaurus knows they're there and knows if they walk into that, they'll be walking into several members of Boise State. Good timing on the smoke. Stay on the smoke. 30 seconds left. Oh, a little bit of poke, but, but gets Big. it. So that's plus one in this fight. Boise State looking good, but with all members of Wichita coming out onto the site, even the ult coming out and no members there, this Raz is going to have to get aggressive as possible. Randomly throws out the rocket, doesn't get anybody. Instead, Dreammaker is going to bring out the Silva's ult. Gets one. Plus two now. Tyson was unable to find anything with their own. Plus two is looking pretty good for Boise State here, but Boise State needs members to live if we want to stay up in the ego here. Ooh. Oh no! Oh no! Right All the members of Boise a... State are just walking out into Tease and getting murdered! Panda knows Truman is in there. Tries to bait him out with the defuse, but ends up getting shot for his efforts, and that is a Truman clutch! Feels bad. Truman did exactly what he needed to. He got to the advantage position and forced Boise State to start attacking him. Sadly, neither Panda or the Chamber could get the shots that they needed. I believe Chamber is Jabald, actually. He is so n I mean, also just great positioning by Truman. Had the high ground. Nobody was even checking it. Both ran right into t and got eliminated. At least Jabald got the refrag, but big loss for Boise State because that was a huge econ hit. Now Panda's just going to have to bring out the judge with no armor. It was really unfortunate, too, because Panda at least knew that Truman was there, and I think they both knew that Truman was there, but they couldn't necessarily get a read on where exactly within the smoke in that doorway Truman was, and I think that ended up costing Boise State there. Panda's going to have to try to hold down the, this B window, especially with the judge. I mean, this is the one situation where it might work out for you, trying to corner camp Tyson here as he pushes through on this Raz. The drone's even going to come out for the Sova and scout him immediately, but he's going to have to back off as the ping comes in as well. They do have the Omen ult, but I don't think Boise State is looking to commit it here. Burn just play a little bit more defensively. The rendezvous who is used by Jabal to who retreat out of there as the call has been made that they're hard pushing A, but Panda cannot push out of that B window. Piece of shells can't seem to get out from where they are. Javald is going to be first blood on the side of Boise State. Not what we're looking for as the team is too even in terms of rounds. J Bags gonna get teasing for their troubles as they get traded Ooh. with it. That is Boise State down two. Bang goes down as well. Oh, Pizzasaurus with this Guardian has just been doing phenomenal. The wall going down even to wall. Panda oh might work God. out in his favor. Oh my God. That's two to two. That's even. Yeah, so just Panda like that. Maker. Panda they still have. does have the judge. He's they looking have an opportunity to clutch this. No! Now it's all with Dreammaker here. Dreammaker versus Truman. We'll see if they'll be able to do it. Truemaker is not coming out. Oh, they're, oh, they're going to just barely get it. That is another member of Boise State just on the defuse that Truman's going to go ahead and snipe out. Yeah, he got it to halfway, but could not full commit. Heard him coming, but just couldn't get the flick shot in time. So Wichita State just continuing their econ lead, whereas inside of Boise State, they're really hurting. Only Panda was able to buy and he bought a marshal so maybe the snipes could come back he didn't do too well with that operator on round three when he got it but heading into round 10 here or four to five boise state just barely behind one i mean this is a very close game for boise state being seed nine going up against seed one boise state is definitely making wichita state work for it and truman being first blood boise state has a shot at this. We are now 3v4, which is still winnable if somebody pops off. But being down Panda, that's been their main playmaker so far. Hey. Things are looking a little sketchy. 
Just a little, but thankfully not too much. As you mentioned, down the one member, they did deny a true who with the res. Incendiary Molly he will have to go down, so forces Jabal to go all the way around. Brings out the revolver. Her looking for her. Pizza source is very low. Saw him for a second. Gets it. Big. That's even. Still has the omen ult online if needed. Uh, and then Shells was put in the position of where they need to clutch. Kaba, I think, has been another big playmaker for Wichita State. We mentioned Truman a lot, but I think Kaba is definitely worth mentioning as well, just because they have gotten the consistent eliminations rather than the clutches. Yeah, so taking a look at the stats here, I mean, Boise State's just been hurting for Econ. They did go for more of a save around there, so now Jabal does have the Operator on the Chamber. Can be very deadly here, but Wichita is sticking to their Phantom and Vandals. I mean, it's been working for them again and again. At least Boise State does have full armor going into this, but they really don't have the money to recuperate this, so they need to come out with a win. Gets it as well, and forces out the res. Boise State getting on the aggressive as well, pushing B lobby, whereas all of Wichita is going for the A push. Maybe rotate through mid as well. That is our operator down, and somebody will have to go pick that up and maybe do something about that there as Boise State is down one. And can't afford to lose this round, really, as we're already four to six. The playing drone. Yeah, soon to swap over, is able to scout out the raise. Tries to push it a little bit, apply the pressure in the back lane, trying to pinch them out right now. Oh, but the Omen does not have the pressure unless he commits the ult, whereas Wichita State does have both the Brimstone and the Sova ult. Ooh, Tyson in a bad spot here. Party's Gets taken down and a great. Link, huge Panda. Spike down A. Huge Panda plays in A link there. j is going to come up with the elimination, and that's Boise State. They've turned this into a massive advantage here. We are now up two. Seconds left as the remaining members are just kind of pinned in A lamps there, the, remember, the remaining members of Wichita State. Yeah, that's the conversion they needed, and definitely Wichita was not expecting the master flank from three members. I mean, they went the hard commit to A, and it definitely cost them. Tista was the only one defending the rear, and left. he got pinched hard. Boise State setting up their cross singles is exactly what they need from the high team skill. No panda. But was unable to land the shots he needed. One enemy remaining. Three to one, still definitely possible. Very scary Ooh. though, as Shells Last is gonna go down. Kaba, no, Kaba, I need you to stop. JBag has to get this clutch from behind on Kaba, and honestly, <laughs> hits the shots, catches Kaba unaware. That was much closer than Boise State wanted here, but we are gonna win the round and go five to six here. Saves the op as well, so that's a little bit money saved, but Boise State was hurting for cash, and now they lost four members. Yes, they win the round, but going into the next round, they're going to be hurting here. As we take a Last back look at this, just master flank gets one, gets two, looks for a third. But fantastic plays and communication from Boise State right now. Boise State is, again, even though they saved the op, so they're not hurting as bad as they could, it feels like Boise State is in the position where they're having to do more with less as we have just a single round behind, behind Wichita State here. Yeah, Wichita can just fall by once again, and Boise State's just in a rough spot. You want to Thankfully, play, at least Pizza play. Stars could only buy the Spectre with full armor, but now all the ultimates are coming out. Both chambers are going to bring out their sniper. There's, Boise State does have the plus one in the ult advantage, but when it comes down to it, Wichita has gotten better value out of their ult per use, so we'll have to wait and see. Who's going to be the first to at least engage with it? We do hear the drone come out. Jabal! And is going to miss the shot on B-Long and be eliminated by Truman, that leaving both teams even. Yeah, he went for the door of the nook. Would have been much quicker for the teleporter, but wanted to try to stay in the area rather than go back and forth, so it definitely cost him there. Well, you see, at least even bringing out the rocket. Sees it, sends it, doesn't get it. Throws out the second satchel charge, doesn't get it either, so. Shell's committed a lot of utility there and just didn't get it. Now even the Sova ult coming out doesn't get the elimination. Gets a little bit of poke, huge no. spray, and doesn't get it. JBag just missed their shots and Kaba did not. 
one of the menaces on the side of Wichita State left. for Boise State here it has been Kaba consistently. Yeah, so now with only the Chamber ult online having the sniper, only so many bolts remaining. No. Sherman's going to have to get a little aggressive with it, able to pick up one with the Soma. Yeah. With the beam coming down, he had to retreat. Dreammaker's going to trade, leaving Boise State down left. one as the spike is finally planted in these last final seconds here. Jabald wants this shot, but Truman's not peeking. He's got three bullets left and three enemies. It is totally possible. You just got to look at Last the right angles standing. as Truman goes down. And there goes Jabalt. This boy take down two, five to seven in this as we go to our next Switching buy side. phase. Yeah, and after that round swap, it's definitely been brutal for Boise State. I mean, they had a good start and it's kept very close, but Wichita's been slowly pulling away with it since they've been getting the uh, econ advantage. And now that we've swapped sides, Boise State going on the attack, can't really go for really master flanks anymore being the defenders, and Bind has so far been a more defender favored map but wichita has had just the higher skill for a lot of these engagements hitting the shots again we're highlighting both truman and then kappa at this point who's just rarely missed able to get the flicks again and again and again and i think boise state has been hitting their shots they're just sometimes caught out and that has been the biggest thing for wichita state here Got to keep an eye on that door. You know Pizzasaurus is there. Able to at least rotate out of the sight lane before he appears. Seems Wichita is taking a book out of, a play out of the Boise play. Try to push through Beth into lobby on A side, but no one's there, so they rotate all the way over to B. A huge rotate Bango here. Sage is there. Truman's in the awkward position of having a 1v4 in this hallway. Ooh. They're going to get one of the members of Boise State here, and then Dreammaker and Jabal are also going to go oh, down to Jeep. Teason's going to get Jay back. That is most of the members of Boise State in that hallway, just down immediately. Panda, 1v3ing there, all out in the open, unable to get it. That is Wichita State going up three to Boise State's five. Boise State is five, Wichita State is eight. Things are not looking good after getting full life first round on attack. Yeah, already you can see the weapons coming out. At least Panda does bring out Marshall once again. Didn't see him get a ton of value the first time, but we'll see it return this time. Only the three Spectres for the side of Wichita State with Pizzasaurus just going for the full armor and the Bulldog, surprisingly. Yeah. Yeah. But most of Boise State just sticking with the classics, trying to save up, get those Vandals and Phantoms, and give Wichita a taste of their own medicine where round three, full buy and come back with a vengeance. Looks like A Bath or A Cubby is going to be the spot for the engagement right now as the teams kind of rotate and Boise State is trying to get in. It's definitely a slow push. Defenders have no need to peek it, especially going up against a Marshall. Huge damage exchange. Panda's down to half. But not eliminated, leaving this an even 5v5 fight. Boise State really needs to win this round if we want to try to turn it around. This is Sova Drone's going to come out. Pizzasaurus getting that elimination onto Jabal. Not looking good for Boise State as we are down Ooh. one. The Sage Slow comes out. Jbag will get the elimination onto Truman, however, but they know he's there. Was caught mid ability and unable to shoot back as Jim's going to get Jbag. Oh, went for the right Yikes. click. Three run first, doesn't get it. And so Pizzasaurus finishes out with the Bulldog, but. Perfect timing from Wichita. As soon as they push it, and great slowing gets Panda eliminated. Truman gets taken down and has the refract from his teammate as member of Boise was even reloading. So, once again, another hard loss for Boise. And Panda spending a lot of his cash, only able to get light armor this time around, whereas the rest of his team was able to full buy. It was on the side of Wichita. They just have full armor in those secondaries from previous round. Wichita's kind of running away with it right now. They're up four. Yep. Boise State really needs to start having some flawlesses here if we want to turn the if we want to turn this eco around here. So they're going into this round. Boise State needs to be looking to try to count out some of this value, and that's a great start with it. Getting aggressive, taking the space is definitely something Wichita was not ready for. A free Boise State now One just needs to be wary of the last remaining member for the side of Wichita State. This is exactly what Boise State needed to start turning things around. If we can get this final elimination without losing any members, that will be huge in stopping this Wichita State roll as they're up four right now. 
I think yes. Jabal knows he's there. Oh, there it is! Have the rendezvous, teleport out. No, he's coming in. Smoke's gonna have to go down as well as the sonic arrow. They know he's in their spawn, so they can start swinging it. He's getting pinched hard if you look at the mini-map. He's getting pinched hard in Attacker Cave, one of the best pinch spots on this map. Members of Boise State on all sides there. Hey. There, that's what Boise State need. That we are now six to nine, st still down three here. But because we got a flawless victory and managed to keep everybody alive, Boise State is looking pretty good. We have full armor on all of our members, but so does Wichita State. Yeah, Wichita is also going to go for the full buy minus Truman, sticking to the specter of what he could afford. Seeing as he was eliminated at first, it seems the very just all out of aggression for Boise really paid off. Also, just looking at the KDAs for our teammates, I mean, Payne is the only positive member on Boise State at the moment. Whereas, if you look on the side of Wichita, they're definitely a bit more evened out there. This time, Boise going for the all push, all mid. Gonna get scattered out, immediately shot down there. The little ball's gonna come out. The nade came out to try to zone him out. Shells has one to answer of his own, but instead oh, the satchel it. charge play. Gotta be Shells has gotta be careful peeking that corner. J Bag's down, gonna go down, man. leading both teams even. Now down one is Panda's gonna go down as well. This is not what we were looking for. Gene's gonna get Boise hey, State up one here, but Shells is pretty weak. Bald able to pick up a double, continue the push forward. Only Truman and the Chamber remaining. Chamber's having to rotate all the way around from B, so hopefully Boise State is able to at least watch that rotation. There goes the slow. Truman no. gets it. It is a relatively even 2v2. Some of the members of Boise State are missing just a little bit of health here. Spike is going to be initiated, forcing Wichita State to do something. Is on now. Defenders have become the attackers, and the chamber ult is online. Even gets spotted out. Oh, and slow. Even gonna call down the sniper. I mean, he has the sidelines. He just needs to hold it and listen for the defuse. Tries to bait it out as well. Gets it. Shot. No. This is the second one on Truman, but they will end up getting it. Boise State taking that round now, seven to nine. Still only down two here. This is the comeback that Boise State was looking for. But we are still at a slight disadvantage when it comes to what we we're able to buy. Yeah, able to only keep one member alive has definitely hurt, but getting the spike plane down has kind of compensated that a little bit. Did commit the ult for the one elimination, and which led to the win, so. Pretty good. Value, value, but Wichita's hurting for cash, so they're just gonna have to go for her a uh, sheriff round in order to full buy next round. They do at least have have a lot of armor on their side and two ults with the res and the sofa hub. But Boise State with the aggressive plays has been really working out for them. Boise State just wants to try to roll this round because Wichita State is already hurting, and now would be the time for a Boise State comeback. Huge aggressive push coming out onto B right now. First elimination going to Pizzasaurus, courtesy of Panda. That's what you're looking for if you're a Boise State fan. Spike is planted, forcing Wichita State to do something, and something they will Ooh. do as Jabald and Dreammaker are going to go down. But Panda's going to get the second elimination onto Truman. Feels like Pan Panda's going to go down. Felt like they were carrying that round, but immediately after, Cap is going to get J-Bag as well. And Shells, Let's go. to be out by Panda, gets the triple kill clock. That is the second clutch that we have seen. Shells doing a great job. Shells brought it back with, with that. I mean, went from being 3-3 three to three to 1v3 and then yep. pulls it out anyway. I mean, the Phantom really doing work for him. So running away with it. Shells, huge play there. Looks like we're going to throw it to a timeout, though. But 3-3 three to three for ults. Boise State went from being down four to now being down one. Which is great. Yeah, they're on a huge streak right now. So have to wait and see. Maybe connection issues. You don't know. Maybe a player was lost on the enemy team. Or sometimes you just need to take a timeout. I mean, it is what it is. I want to say that that timeout is Boise State is like, okay, we're, we're slowly closing the gap here. What do we do to keep this momentum going? Because especially after only having one member live, Boise State is hurting a little bit more than they would like in terms of cash. 
Yeah, and the timeout was actually called by Wichita State as well. So that's another thing to look at of just like, Boise huh. State was starting getting very aggressive and Wichita was crumbling underneath it. They'd lost three rounds in a row yep. as soon as Boise State was on attack and got the ball rolling for their econ. So now you know they had to take the break and say, we need to regroup, kind of slow down the momentum of Boise and get their groove back. And this could be the round to do so, especially since Pizzasaurus has the operator in hand. Wichita State is sitting here like, hold on, we got rolled for three rounds. What do we do to turn this around? Yeah, and it's going to be getting in the right headspace for it of just the constant aggression and attack. They need to commit a lot more resources to stopping these Boise State pushes. And Boise State needs to start watching their butts for the pinches that have been coming out from Wichita. Sage Wall is going to come out, so they know somebody's there. They know they're just outside this building on A site, looking around in Teleporter, Cubby, and Bath. Boise State pushing through that A Bath there. Yeah, we see j -Bag on the Omen watching the back line. I mean, you do not want to push that. Pizza Stars has the operator is going to be holding lobby all day long. So at least j -Bag is going to be the one to hold the rotations, even get the he, arrow out. He knows that he's there, too. j -Bag knows that they can't approach this. And Pizza Stars is just looking at lobby and long j -Bag. Yeah, Boise State just trying to find an opening right now. Best moment might have been Jabal to try to swing that raise in the middle, but he's going to just try to rotate over to B, seeing as Wichita was not set up for it. If they're going to try to push Pizzasaurus here with this op, this might cost them a member. Bad idea. And it does. But that means he did teleport out, so Boy State is able to push right up through, through all of Lamp and can control the teleporter. Even with the res, Satchel Charge unable to escape. Brimstone ult comes down, picks up Dream Maker. Panda's going to get the elimination on Najim, though. And with the spike being planted, which is our state, doesn't have a lot of time, and they don't have any members to try to stop this. That's good. That's what. Oh, hold on. That's what Boise State was looking for. We are still down two, however, eight to ten. Yeah, it just swung it in their favor so quickly that Boise State ran out of time and couldn't get the spike plant in time. So Wichita barely wins it off time just because Boise State was trying to panic and get the spike on time, which is why Dreammaker died to the beam. Which is, it feels real bad for Boise State just because they barely didn't get the spike planted and so Wichita State was able to take that round, putting them two rounds away here. Boise State with eight. Yeah, aggressive push mid. Now they want to go for the eight plant. And, and they're only going up against the three members. Having to dash forward gets Big. one, plus one now. With State plus one, this could be the comeback that we're looking for to put us Ooh. even here. Panda's going to get the elimination on the Truman. That is all five members of Boise State against now two five members of Wichita State. Four members. One of the members, one of Boise State's going to go down, but they're in an advantageous position, especially Ooh. as that spike is planted. Panda knows where you are, is looking for it as that final member. Panda's just watching that sight line, waiting for you to peek. He can see the barrel of that gun right now, and he wants it. Smoke's going to come down hopefully stopping Panda from getting the elimination. And I think the final member of Wichita State here just wants to live. He's trying to get any value he can to try to secure the income. Panda's getting very aggressive there and still gets finally it gets with the, the triple. Panda was getting super aggro. We wanted him to get that elimination. That is now nine to 10. Boise State now only down one. They stopped the huge gap that Wichita State had of being up four. They won all these rounds in a row, just ended up losing last round just because they weren't able to get the spike planted in time. But now it feels like they're really coming back. We usually talk about Boise State being a defensive favored team, but it actually looks like they're really coming alive on attack. Yeah, maybe Wichita just isn't ready for the constant just all-out blitz strat from Boise right now. I mean, they pick a site and just say, go. This time going for the three and two, though. Well, maybe tries to apply a low pressure on A and see how they can disrupt. Pass committing a lot. Even the drone able to scout out the one. Very low. 10 HP, 10 HP. remaining. <laughs> but won the duel, though, and sometimes it's about the honor victory. 
shells trying to navigate through that slow. Truman's gonna res that immediately as another Ember goes down, leaving Boise State still up one, even as the res is committed. Now up two! This could be Boise State's chance to tie it up and maybe win the game if we can keep winning rounds after this. Yeah, the constant aggression has been working out. The Guardian able to pick up at least one onto Jabal. But Boise State having control B will get the plant down immediately. Even brings out the ult, misses the last dagger she has. And so Panda will be unable to hit it. They're in that room though. But with that smoke, can't get any of the shots. Teason's gonna eliminate J-Bag. Boise State is in a 3v2 situation. Not optimal. Boise State needs these remaining three members to live. Oh, yeah, right as he swings no. it, oh, gets, gets one, eliminated but not. by Truman. One, but not the other. It's two v one situation. Truman has to go for the defuse here. No tries to bait it out to find anybody. The ult's gonna come down. He's not gonna be able to find Truman, but Truman's also not able to defuse. Shells is weak. This almost feels like a one v one, just because Shells has so little HP. Dreammaker is not close enough to really do anything about it. But they're gonna end up. Attack Boise State, I think, is going to take that, tying it up 10 to 10. But because we lost so many members, we're hurting worse than we want to be. Actually, no, it looks like we're not, as we're just <laughs> going to commit that full buy. Boise State could afford to lose those members. Yeah, if anything, Wichita is hurting for cash right now because they lose a lot of members before they get one or two eliminations. And then it's one person on their team that gets all of them. So it's definitely not spread out as much as Boise State has been. You can see how the kills just changed in a four rounds. They went from only one member being positive to now three members being positive. One technically is tied, but I'll count that as positive. With only one ult online for both teams here. Panda's gonna hit his shots, just enough for him to have to disengage there, but Panda's less than half HP, which is not looking good for Boise State. Yeah, Rendezvous pulled out. There goes the Satchel. grenade. Satchel charge right over his head. I wonder if he knew Jeem was there. Jumps right over and gets eliminated, but they're gonna get that elimination on Jeem as well. Jabard's, Jabald's there to back them up, leaving both teams down one. And Boise State is gonna go ahead Jabba's and have gone. Panda plant the spike. They're coming out of the smoke. They know where they're coming. Panda's gonna hit Huge. all the shots there with a triple kill, and that is two members of Boise State living, and Wichita State can't keep affording to wipe like this because they're already down in terms of armor and in terms of guns, but it looks like they stopped just enough there. They do have one member still with just that light armor. Yeah, fit. Boise State has definitely had a strat going up against Wichita, which is push A, get an elimination or two if you can, then hard rotate B after they've rotated A to try to counter you, who be aggressive, get the kills, you might lose a person in their rotation as we saw jumping right over Jeem, getting eliminated that way, but called it out, he got quickly eliminated. Now it seems they might try to change it up, go full push B, rotate over to A, because Wichita can only go three and two for each site. Boise State now up one for the first time this whole, for the second time this whole matchup since the very beginning. And then we might take this match point and be able to take fine off of Wichita State. Yeah, it's really coming down to the very end. Holman will go in with the ult for the teleport. Or try to scout out what he can, wasn't able to see nearly as much as he wanted. Gonna go for the whole teleport over, which was heard by the team. Enemy team, I believe, hence why they made the rotations quickly. Still 3-2 split, but with Truman and, and Tyson not there, Boise State could push this. They are all stacked up on the one door. On the A lobby, it looks like they're going to rotate through and possibly come up through Short or Covey. But it looks like they're just waiting right now with their solo member on point B Short. Yeah, the Raze seconds. has the ultimate, could use the rocket and push B as hard as she can. I have yet to get an ultimate from that rocket launcher yet, though. Sees the whole sight line is clear. Dashes right past the member behind him. Will get taken down, trades out. Yikes. That's leaving both teams even. Ten seconds left. Spike has been planted. Wichita State's got to act. Panda knows Ooh. where they're coming from. Teason's going to get that ultimate right onto Panda. That is Boise State down one going into this next engage. And that Sage Slow is going to come down. They know they're there. j doesn't hit their shots. So Teason's going to take him. Dreammaker's going to hit that character. Kruberg is going to get the final two. That is three members living for the side of Wichita State. They might have flipped this eco around on Boise. 
kicking things off with that rocket was a great way to engage it. Just on demand, oh, exactly what they need, and then just continued to collapse. They threw the slow right on top of JBag and continued to just swing angles and get those engagements. That sadly, Boise State just wasn't able to click on those heads fast enough, but which taught bringing back the team play that they've been not really relying on as much as we've seen Boise State just go all out team play, whereas. It's been more individual on the side of Wichita. Now with the ultimates online, both chambers going to bring out their snipers for this round. And also the Sova is play. live for Wichita. Both teams looking relatively even in terms of economy and in terms of the matchup as a whole. We are 11-11. Stage wall is going to come out. Dream is going to rotate across there. Pizzasaurus with that first elimination on the shells. Never what you're looking for. Yeah, one shot wonder snipers. What it is for a reason as Jabald has yet to match the skill of Pizza Source this round with that. Recon Bullet getting a lot of value. Sova knows he's there. Sees it. Gets Got it. Panda Even? just barely hits more shots than they do. Panda Ooh. knows you're there. Panda's coming for you. That is Panda getting two eliminations there. Setting his own team up to be up one. Whereas before, we were down. Panda knows. Panda knows where Tyson's trying to peek, either side of that box. Spray and pray through the smoke. No, that's not what we're looking for. Panda's down, leaving both members even on both sides. And with no Sage ultimate online, these are the numbers. Members of Boise State just have to do what they can. Truman knows he's there, but is not just shooting through that smoke. Yeah, even using the teleport to bait out left. the two members of Wichita to rotate over to A. He, even though he had the spike, he could have definitely planted it on A, but... It's 2v1 against Truman. He's going to have to take this. Get no. Oh. That's not Gets what we're it. looking for. JBag's going to go down. Jabald will get the elimination on Truman, leaving us 2v2. Dream Maker planting the spike. Now Wichita State Ooh. has to do something. Jabald can't hit his shots against Tyson, though. Now it is just Dream Maker 1v2. He knows where they are. Not going to be able to hit the shot before Kaba can. Kaba with the quick draw there. Going to eliminate the final member of Boise State. And with both members diffusing, that's a lot of cash going Wichita State's direction. Yeah, a huge victory for Wichita, bringing match them to point. match point. There's a lot of pressure here on Boise. I mean, you got to remember, this is top eight or quarterfinals. Boise State is seed nine versus Wichita, which is number one. And we've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with them this far. Just now, Wichita has taken the, their lead back. Sadly, see right at the tail end, Dreammaker just aiming a hair to the right, missing that shot. Still full buys across the board, but Boise State now hurting oh, for damn. cash after two full buys and losses there. And especially being down one, Boise State has to find a way to turn this around. The Sova Ultimate's going to come out. Get no eliminations. Cabo on the Panda, though. That's pretty big. Yeah, Same one for one. Eliminate Tyson for it, though. That is Boise State 4v4, but the ultimates are stacked in Wichita State's favor. A well-placed res could turn this around. Could definitely put the numbers in their favor, but they have to get to the corpse first, whereas all members of Boise State, other than the arrays, swapped over to B, which I think Wichita hasn't adjusted for quite yet. And Boise Rotating. doesn't know they rotated over, so it's going to be a slow push, but... You can take it, it's okay. <laughs> Rotating through B window here, it looks like, with all members except for Dream Maker, who is in A lamps. Yeah, so it's going to be all down to raise to hold them down on A and try to confuse them where they might be planning. So Spike is going to even go down in B. Boise State is set up here right now. Truman's going to go in for the res. Shell's able to at least even out one for one. Now we are three to four. Boise State really trying hard for it here. Yeah, it doesn't help that Wichita also has both ults on their side. Can use the Sovol, can use the Brimstone to try to zone them out of it. Jabald knows where they're trying to peek Pay from. Canister is going to come out as the nade. Huge swing. An elimination. One for one. Boise State can't afford to trade, though. They're already down members. It is up to JBag and Sova here. Cab is going to get that defuse. He's going to get Dreammaker popping off. Now it's a 1v1. They're gonna end up Defenders just barely win. getting that defuse, and Boise State is gonna lose map one to Wichita State. So close for Boise State. I mean, just unable to get there in time. It had the great flank, got the two eliminations, but losing JBag to the Sova ult definitely hurt him.
But Boise State went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him the whole time. Except for the whole four-round gap at one point. Well, yes, but immediately after that, they were able to come back online and get that off. And Boise State is always looking for talented players, casters, and production. For Overwatch League of Legends, the Rocket League, come visit us at boisestate.edu slash esports. And after that, what are the micro plays? Because it is a battle of micro plays at this point, having ma having maps that are that close. What are the micro plays that Boise State needs to clean up to take this off against Wichita State? I mean, Boise State's been playing phenomenally. I mean, the fact that we've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with the number one seed team is yep. a feat within itself, especially as one of the lower seeds of the bracket at this point in time, even though there's been a ton of teams at this point. But still, it's the fact that Boise State has had a consistent game plan going into each of these matches, which is hard push a site and then quietly rotate over to the next one, get the spike plant down, and then hold it. They've been doing that again and again and again. And it was just at that tail end where they just took trades when they shouldn't have. They were down a member. At that point, you cannot trade. You have to take those crossfire angles. They had plenty of time to set up and have that defensive angle, and they just didn't at that point. They lost the Rays early on trading with Shells when they should have known that the Rez was up and saw it go up. So that was another huge loss value of the count cards ability, something we've been talking to yep. keys. So hopefully heading into the next map, we can see Boise State really sure up those very minute things for sure. I mean, they're playing phenomenally no matter what. That's without question. It's just going up against the top seed team. Yep. You have to play out your A game. Boise State is definitely there. So hopefully we can see that him continue heading into game two. And I think there is one more micro play that I just want to like add on to that. I think Boise State is occasionally missing these shots that lead to these trades. Like both members will peek the corner at the same time and they're ready for it. But Wichita State, I think, has been getting the drop on Boise State because Boise State has these angles. They know where they're coming from, but they don't hit the first shots and they don't hit more shots. So we end up getting members eliminated, even though we were set up as we go into our next matchup here, which I'm told will be Ascent. This is a map that Boise State is less comfortable on. But considering how close we are on that first map, we expect it to be similarly close. We're going to go ahead and get right into that next map. As we wait to get there for Ascent, it's definitely, as you mentioned, a little bit less played. I mean, there's only so many maps of Valorant. They're all played by Boise because you can only yep. ban so many. Yeah, so as we wait to We're see what to that break. might compare to, I really hope to see Boise State really stick to their guns. I mean, Panda on the Jet is their go-to, really, what they've been performing well. Shells has done very well on the Rays, so that could continue. JBag has done okay on the Omen. You can see why they changed him a little bit. He's still not in the best of spot, especially in that matchup up with that utility. So we'll have to wait and see how that's going to really fare in map two. The Brimstone got a lot more value than I expected. Absolutely. And actually, before we get into our next map, we are going to throw it straight to a break.
Here are a couple lessons I've learned over the years. Friendships come in all shapes and sizes. And always buckle up. Seatbelts save lives. That's a rule we can all live by. Visit NationalGuard.com to begin your guard adventure. Welcome back into the Boise State Game Pants Esports Arena. You are still watching our NACE, our e, or excuse me, our ECAC Collegiate Valorant. We just saw Boise State and Wichita State go head to head. Map one did go Wichita State's way, but we are going to Ascent next, which is a map that Boise State is pretty comfortable on. I'm your host, Colby Angelo Alloway, and joining me to call all of the action is Brenner Bear Lad. So before we get right into map number two, which is Ascent, and Boise State will be defending first on, what are the strategies here? Are there any specific agents that you're expecting to come out for either side? I mean, as I previously mentioned before we went to the break, the jet on Panda has really been his go-to. Oh, Boise huge. State has also had a lot of practice in pretty much all the maps using the Chamber. Chamber has been also a pretty good one. And with the Astra being recently nerfed, I don't expect to see her nearly as much. But it is still definitely a likely possibility. Um, the Sage has worked out very well for Wichita with that res, so I wouldn't be surprised if Boise State wanted to use that for themselves. And going into Ascent, I mean, Haven has been historically our best map, most well played. But over the past couple weeks, our team has been putting more and more and more and more time into Ascent to where it's kind of become our best map. So heading into Ascent is should be feeling pretty confident for Boise State players. And the draft, I'm also very curious of how Wichita might try to answer it because Bind was their best played map, which is why mm -hmm. they picked it and we didn't ban it because we banned Icebox because it's Icebox. But <laughs> going having our two best maps of Ascent and Haven still in the pickings not being banned away is a huge win for us. But with how close on their best map that we got, I would hope to see Ascent go Boise State's way. But at the end of the day, it will come down to what Wichita might have in their back pocket that maybe Boise State hasn't expected. I mean, when we've played this map in the past of Ascent, we've seen the Killjoy come out a lot. Silva is guaranteed no matter what because he is just the go-to character. That B site of Heaven and Hell is just such an issue that Boy State's had in the past of either take Heaven or Hell, never have had control of both of them to really throw their team, the enemy team off their game. But with Boy State also defending first, I think this should be a huge victory for them. But I don't want to jinx it, so nobody heard me. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You didn't hear it here first that Boise State is good at defense. That is absolutely not the case here. As we're going to go in, W Panda still on that jet, which is exactly what we were expecting and even what we were hoping for. Pizzasaurus is thinking about that killjoy, though, and on a map like Ascent, that might be unfortunate for Boise State. Yeah, so the r really big thing here is JBAC's still sticking with the Omen that probably wasn't the most impactful last round, but it maybe comes back alive on this map. I have to wait and see. But also the return of Rhea on shells is something we have not seen for the past two weeks, I believe. So could be something that throws uh, Wichita for a loop, but also Truman... Just the interesting picks here for the side of Wichita. Also the KO on Jeem going for the res, agent. but going back to the Jet. I definitely like the Jet better in this matchup, but both Omens going with the Killjoy to the Rhea. The KO to 
the chamber. Boise State is definitely playing a lot more aggressively with this team comp, whereas Wichita has a lot more sustainability and a bit more utility on their side, if you ask me, because the KO ult is he could be rezzed. So they're still maintaining the possibility of I can come back no matter what if they can get to his body in time, which is usually where KO fails, especially on a scent where Boise State is most at home for her they we've seen them succeed on this last week and hope to see them succeed again here but starting off on these early rounds boy state was able to get a lead there maybe see the return of it especially on home turf and defending first again and it does look like boise state is gonna rotate it looks like we're all rotating together on left hand side to go for b there but we considering boise state has used this strategy to great effectiveness i expect boise state to like push b just enough for them to be convinced that we're pushing b and then immediately rotate a after that yeah it's really going to be the guessing game of who's pushing where i mean with only shells holding mid on that Rhea up against the three members that are going to be pushing it is a huge risk, but Dreamworker's going to immediately have to use that scouting arrow to try to delay them, see how many who might be there. Shell's taking a huge fire oh, no. mid. It is to be expected. Boise State is now down one. Panda and Truman in the Jet v. Jet. Both of them dominant members for either of their side here. Panda and Truman Ooh. are immediately going to come up with eliminations there. That is 2v3. But Boise standing. State is down. Panda there are now down. Dreammaker as well. It is just J-Bag with a pistol and a prayer here as they run down and see what they can do on defense here against three members. Jabal had the master flank and even had two of them with the backs to him. But miss both shots was heartbreaking to see. Now Tyson's just going to push right through the door knowing he had to reload and just had every advantage there. So Wichita playing phenomenally there. Boise State just going to have to try to regroup here and get back in the groove, especially, I mean, you saw on Bind, it took them a while to get adjusted, get their momentum going, and then they just continued the ball rolling. So the teams that were really neck and neck, now here, Wichita has had their little break. They've came back renewed, and now they even have Bai with a ton of Bulldogs, Guardians, and even a Marshall showing up. They're definitely looking to just secure their lead and maintain this snowball. Truman is terrifying on that jet. It'll be up to Panda to stop them in the Jet v. Jet matchup there. Yeah, Boise's definitely going to need to be playing the defender roles of Wait for them to attack and hold your angles. It's something Boise State has definitely gotten antsy with. Of, or are they going here? Or are they going here? Be confident. Where would you go? Hold it. You'll be okay. I mean, you can see right now, Panda's the only one holding B, even though oh, the Ray is the only one holding mid against the other two members. You can see how antsy she is just going back and forth, even baiting a shot. Like, why? Just to confirm she was there? Just play safe. It's okay. I mean, I mean time is your friend. You waste their time, you get the victory. Shells does know that they are peeking down that mid sight line, though, and they're not. hopefully not going to peek it. I think Panda realized that they're rotating A. We see both Shells and Panda rotating to that A point there as Dream Maker's trying to defend in the corner against the smoke. Jabal will be first blood. Truman on that jet, though. Members are looking pretty even. That is a 3v3 as J-Bag, Prezisaurus, and t all go down as well. We do still have Dream Maker up, and we do still have Panda up. So Boise State, Dream Maker's going to go down first. Shell's going to get that elimination. And immediately after that, Cab is going to follow. That is now just Shell's against the two remaining members of Wichita State here. Yeah, he got the Aries, so he has the he capability to get it, but is in a little bit high for it. Able to get the healing, and now the Eagle overhealing stops it. Gets it, Gets and up. that's it. Way to go, Shell's gonna get that full defuse onto the point, but with Boise State only a single member leading, li or living, that's not necessarily what Boise State was looking for, but a round win is a round win. I mean, I'll take an Aries whenever I can get it, and Shell's just showing exactly why you take it. I mean, this is a repeat of last week with the Odin. I mean, gets a triple, popping off, gets... Here comes Shells with a double of the Aries. I mean, LMG new meta. Nobody ever listens to me, but it's what's going to happen. 
And that is Shells hitting the shot, hitting more shots than Truman. And so Shells ends up living and winning the round. And a lot of times with these two teams, it comes down to those 1v1s and who can hit more of those shots. Yeah, so trying to expect a B push, but literally not a soul from Wichita's on that side. Instead, they're just all hard pushing that lobby over on A, trying to go for the Heaven and Hell site. And I will always call it Heaven and Hell over A because it is either Heaven or Hell. And huge aggression. The Jet already on site with the ult, no less. Just going to have to go right into his face. Gets it as well. Panda with a triple as well. J-Bag is the price to pay for Boise State there, but now with only Truman living, and they know where they're at, Panda is going to unfortunately get caught out, leaving a 1v3. Shells knows Truman is down there, and it's just kind of spraying, seeing if they can get any value. So oh, no! Truman, I need you to stop. This is now a 2v1. What used to be a 4v1 has now been narrowed to just two members of Boise State here. Truman's still sitting at 82 HP. Yeah, Shell's only had 17, so a single bullet to him at all would have gotten the elimination, but Shell, or Truman does not have the spike and will have to recover it in order to try to even at least secure this point. Does see the sideline? Oh, no. Doesn't even turn around in time. The communication, no! This is now a 1v1, and it's looking like Truman was able to whittle it down this way. There's... Things are looking not good. Yep. for Boise State here, but Dreammaker versus Truman. The spike has been planted. Dreammaker has to do something, and Truman knows where he's at. No! He's going to hit his elbow, and that is Truman just carrying for Wichita State. Penta all by his lonesome. I mean, Boise State definitely with... A slight choke there. I mean, you saw they were pushing mid through the window, didn't call out, gets eliminated. Dreammaker, thank you for the Odin. And it was just a hard loss there. I mean, getting 1v5 is absolutely brutal. But this is definitely in time to shine for the LMG meta. I mean, Ares got a double. You got an Odin triple last game. Let's see it again. And instead, Saurus being a menace and getting that first elimination onto shells on that Rhea there, leaving Boise State down one. But the Jet Ultimate's going to come up from Panda. Dreammaker will be eliminated. That's Boise State down two. A well placed Jet Ultimate, though, can turn this around. And Panda's looking for the flank. Is going to get caught out by the Sova Drone. Yeah, he just got pinched by the killjoy through the Ooh. mid. And now only two members remaining, and Spike planted. Jabal on this chamber has definitely been slower on the rotates just in general, but he, he makes it up Egg. for getting a headshot onto Truman. J-Bag needs to hit Ooh, his shots, hits more than Pizzasaurus there, and so ends up living. And that is 2v3. Boise State might be able to turn this around, but J-Bag is weak. Yeah, giving away the handle or phantom. I couldn't tell which one that was based on the skin. No. Spray through the smoke. We'll go down with only 20 HP. It is a vandal. You have to think that maybe you shouldn't peek first if you're the member with 20 HP here. Now Jabald is in the difficult position of 1v3. Knows they're all going to come around this corner. Gets one. Almost gets two. No, has to reload. And so ends up getting got out by Jeem there. Once again, another really just hard loss for Boise State. I mean, they had a okay start. I mean, they lost shells immediately. So it was a bit more of a don't buy nearly as much. We'll try to full buy, but Boise just doesn't have the Ecom. Three with light armor and a bulldog is not the ideal situation. So Boise State defense definitely feeling rough and a little bit slower on the rotations. Comms might be an issue as well, based off of prior examples. So, Overload's going to come out for the KO. Huge push onto the B, right over the room. Panda wants it. Truman's going to get the elimination of Panda, Pizzasaurus, and Dreammaker are going to go down there to Team and Tyson. And Boise State just now has three members against Wichita State's five. Yeah, Wichita taking Boise State. 3v4. Oh, strats of just aggressive spike plant as soon as possible. 3v4, much more winnable here for Boise State, but especially with that Wichita State Jet Ultimate online, this is looking really sketchy. 
Tilt are at half, but... It's same issue with Boise State that we've seen in the past is all pushing down that one hallway rather than trying to go for any type of split push. Even if it was the back of B, trying to split up where they're aiming couldn't help that much more, but... Boise State might just have to go for another other pistol round here in order to save up, but Dreammaker is still going to go for the Vandal as well as Shells with the Marshal and Sheriff's coming in with Jabald only going full armor. Boise State is in a really, really difficult position because, for one, we can't afford to keep giving up these rounds. We are already down three going into this, but we also can't, we literally don't have the cash to buy better. It's definitely in a rough spot here, especially one to four. I mean, if Wichita takes this, that means that they will just have a game match in point. You can just see the shuffle back and Misses forth. It. Three HP. Missed his shot, but the other did not miss his. And Truman wins Ooh, the 1v1, but Panda evens things out. That is both of these jets coming in here. Ooh, Ooh clean with the Marshall. Huge for Boise State here. Ah, yes. Look at it in all of its glory that it just saved your butt. But three to three. Chamberl still up, has few remaining bullets left. The hip fire is probably not the best idea going up yeah, against the Odin. Especially not walking into three members there. And now Boise State has got to try to get that gun. We are down three. We really need to win this round. Oh, the Odin! Oh, man. I may be against Boise State, but I will always root for an Odin. 30 seconds left. Boise State, that is one final member, Jabal, hoping to clutch in the 1v3, and things are not looking good because they know where he's at. Looking at the wrong side, sees it, wins for the flick shot, gets, gets one. It. I mean, he has 3 HP and didn't look down below. He's trying to crouch away. Oh, he's in heaven right below you. No. There's no way Jabal is able to rotate down there. Nope, and they Dies will get from the pitch. Boise State, I mean, able to at least eliminate the Sova, but still two members surviving and now a four-round difference. Boise State's been here before, and they've been able to even it out. Now even full buying, but even has the op. Oh, didn't get decide to go for the op, rather would save so he can continue just rebuying. You can also see how they do also even have the slight ping advantage that it is. It's still always worth mentioning coming from a siege player. Ping is everything. So... But full buy for both sides. Tyson with the Odin again. I love you no matter what. Anybody who buys an Odin is the best person in my heart. We State can't afford to lose this. We are down four rounds, especially after full buying. Panda is going to get caught out by four members of Wichita State, and that's not looking good for Oh, Dreammaker with the top Dream row. Maker, though, coming out getting Gene and Pizzasaurus. That is 43 in the favor of Boise State here. Truman is looking weak, and Shells knows where he's at. Yeah, with the Hunter's Fury oh, just him. able to get a double. That's why you don't stack up on a hallway. Something Boise State has learned the hard way again and again and again. And now Wichita has finally learned their lesson. Boise State now up 4-2. to two. Wichita State will have to do something really, really tricky if they want to win this round. I mean, Boise State committing the one ult definitely was huge value getting the two-piece. Wichita does still ha have their own but don't think it will be enough to swing a 2v4 situation. Omen ult is up for them as well. But with how many smokes they're committing Point. into the mid, left. it's smoke war. You can't see, I can't see, even though both smokes missed. Ooh, Shells has found them out. Just has to hit their Ooh. shots. We'll be able to do that against Dream Maker triple. Now it's Dream Maker that's going to get the elimination, or Shells that's going to get the elimination onto Tisa, and that is a Boise State victory with four of their members living. This is exactly what we needed to try to turn this around. Boise State turn it now around, it did. Down three still, two to five, but because of last map, Boise State's bringing it back. This might be the beginning of a beautiful comeback. I mean, I would attribute that round mostly to Dreammaker with a great ultimate getting the two-piece. Oh, finishes yeah. out with a third. Heard, I mean, he stopped Wichita's push in its tracks, and you know they are not going to be pushing B anytime soon. Hence why they are all stacked up on A. Ooh, even the super shorty coming out for one of the members. The jet ult comes down. That's one. That's two. Stayed up two. 
This is the fight we were looking for here. Members are still firing. No eliminations are found yet. Tease is going to find one on Ooh. Dreammaker, winning the battle of the Zova. That is both teams even. Truman. Tries to go for the res on the KO. Unable to get it. He's still down. Jamal knows they're in that room. Is looking for it. Kaba gets the res on Najim. That is Boise State now. It's three versus two here. J-Bag is looking really weak, though. So this is a little bit deceptive, especially as they're scouted out. Yeah, j -Bag does not have the health to try to swing that. Hopefully Panda at least notices the turret, but with Killjoy dead, it is not of threat, thankfully. Seems Panda might go for the long rotate around, maybe go for the flank through the side of a lane. But we're looking for it, they know she's by a tree. Ooh, Gets one! Uh, oh, no. doesn't quite hit the shot on the second one. Just barely not Ran fast enough. That is two versus one still, though. But with one of the members of Boise State at 29 HP, this is looking a little bit sketchy. You got to get him while he's planting. And Jebal does exactly that. That is Boise State winning the round. Now we are three to five. Yeah, definitely played that slow and steady there. The beginning of that whole match was very flashy. He, as we can see, just constant trades back and forth, even trying to res the KL. But... Boys, they, he played that absolutely phenomenally, able to trade out when, you know, got the res on the KO and Kaba immediately fell. It was just back and forth. Boys stayed able to come out on top, and now Jabal got his hands on an operator, whereas on the side of Wichita, they only got a marshal. It's just like with Overwatch, you want to make him die for that res. You don't want to let him get him for free, but that... Jabag's ultimate is online, so we'll see if they will be able to get a huge amount of value from that. Panda doesn't want to peek that corner quite yet until the Sova drone maybe gets some value. Panda's been hit with more recon bolts, I think, than anybody else thus far. So what happens when you're the front line running ahead is the drone will always find you first. And there's only so much you can do about it. If only a god tier flick could maybe hit it before. Oh, Hunter Suri comes out, get picks up one. Teason winning the Battle of the Sovas there, not what you're looking for, even as the ultimate is committed. Panda Ooh, winning the, the Battle of the Jets, though, which is really big against Truman, leaving Boise State in even four to four. Panda still also does Shells. have the blades as well. Shells and Panda are both going to go down. Now it's a 2v4 looking much less winnable here as we go into this next fight. They don't know where Jabal is at fight quite yet. It. So he has maybe one shot before they figure out he's in that corner. And Pete Soros is weak. Ooh, one for one. Their shots. J one for two. Hit their, is this the clutch, the J bag clutch that we've been looking for? Their presence is detected against the two and the turret. Can't use that. Yeah, that turret is definitely something you want to worry about when you're at 50 HP. But that smoke. Oh, the smoke's barely too far behind it. Ooh. Pizza. He knows Pizzasaurus is the one that's weak and is in that room. They're gonna get caught out. Just two members shooting at him. Ooh, timer might save them, might not. No, it saves them. If that was a second or two later, Bomb would have gone off and eliminated them both as well. But you can see down in the callouts, need helps in the B, so it might go 3 2 split on the B this time. But if you learned anything from Witch Tots, they tend to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So. It's so always about the mind games when it comes to this is, are they going to go A? Are they going to go B? A or B? Whereas Boise State can't even go for a full buy here. Or they're going to have about two Spectres with full armor and two Vandals and a Phantom. So it's not the worst setup, but going up against Wichita, who did full buy, doesn't matter because he'll take down Truman first anyway. That is both teams even, and Truman being down is pretty, pretty, is pretty big, especially as we still have our own jet up, and we've seen both jets get huge value. Panda's going to get the elimination onto Teason. Dreammaker is just barely going to hit more more shots than Kaba there. That is Boise State now four to two. Yeah, even ultimate maybe wasted by the Killjoy all the way practically in respawn, if you ask me. And Boise State, he tried rotating over to the A and. Seems Wichita is just trying to decide which site they want to push. With only two members remaining and the KO having the spike going down mid, it's not looking the best. Is able to scout out Dreammaker, who takes a, a bullet. Lot of damage. He must have five HP remaining. 
I mean, even the flashbang could kill him if it hits him, so. He wants it. <laughs> Somebody breathes on that man, he's gonna fall over, so. Definitely gonna need to play a little bit safer, throws out the knife. Left. Doesn't get the value. Panda, Panda missed got... every knife. Pizzasaurus getting the elimination on the Panda. This is now 2v3, and with how weak our Six voice against Sova is, not looking too good. Knows somebody's under there, is unable to find the that. Oh, gets one, gets two. Jabag and Jabald are gonna clutch that one out. Six eight. Two J's. Which is pretty big for Boise State there. We are now trying to make the comeback, and with three members living, even with one of them only has six HP, that is just more cash in Boise State's pocket here. Closing the gap right now, I mean, once the ball gets rolling for both these teams, they start getting economy kind of consistently, getting guns even if it's a little bit more back and forth. It's been working out for them. I mean, they also had a great pinch set up. KO had to plant there or else they would have been timed out. Oh, so just great collapse. Unable to find him through ooh, the floor of hell, but still going to work out. The Ares does come out this time around, so got to respect it. But Panda with the operators looking to pick up one down mid. That poor drone. Gets counted out yet again. And with 58 HP, that's not what Boise State is looking Enemy for. Kill. Panda's going to get the elimination on the Truman, though, and there's nothing okay. Wichita State can do about that. Always going to win the Jet 1v1s. Truman's kind of falling off right Good. now. A shell with a clean tap onto Tyson. Already up to Boise might get their first flawless question mark. Boise Not State has been nothing but clean taps so far. We'll see if they can keep it up. Shells looks like they're rotating around to do some maybe tricky things as the remaining members of Boise State are split looking at all those sight lines. And a very pushed up far or down the mid. Of course, this is the curse of as soon as you look. Oh, yeah. the elbow. Ooh, almost barely missed it. Oh, now eight health. Yikes. 30 seconds left. Can even hear the in game saying 30 seconds no. left, but Jeem gonna get it with the nade onto Dreammaker. Just showing how low Boise State members have been. I mean, Pain is just asking for it with how low his health is, Big but a great snipe! And then J Bag's gonna remaining. clean it up. Ten that is four left. members versus Wichita State's one, and they know where that killjoy's at! They're gonna get that elimination, and that is Boise State almost tying things up five to six, and again. Last a member living with 6 space. HP is still more cash in Boise State's pocket. I mean, he doesn't even need it. He just has the up. He's full set. He just buys armor and abilities, I think. So, I mean, JBag Panda Wombo combo on point even yeah. had both the two remaining members rotating over a shells in Jabal, I believe it was. So, I gotta say. Jabag was not getting the most value on bind, but it really feels like on this second one on Ascent, they've really come alive here. I mean, this is where you're going to see everybody pull out every stop, seeing as this is the last round before the swap happens. This is round 12. And, I mean, it's neck and neck. These teams are definitely looking to go the distance, probably even to overtime as well, seeing as this is game point for which Thomas Boyce State can take it away. Huge pressure on A! This is just turning out into an all-out ability mashup here as nobody's fallen for either side just yet, but both teams know where the other is at. Smoke's gonna come down, Panda's looking for a blank, Ooh. is unable to get anything as Season's gonna get that elimination on the Panda. And they just lost their op. That's not looking very good for Boyce State here. Battle of the Silvas in mid. Shells on the Ray is going to come out to help. Even tries to distract Ooh. him. One for one. Not the best trades when you're down a member. Now down two. J-Bag is unable to hit those final shots and get that elimination onto Big Source, leaving now Dreammaker to solo Sova to do what they can. And that is Wichita State. The round is going to go to them. Switching sides. Yeah, definitely Boise State a little bit panicking there. I mean, they got onto point so quick, so aggressively that Boise State just had to rotate over and try to take whatever they could and was getting cut off in rotations. The two trades that they had were not what they wanted because it was one for two. Just absolutely brutal here. So now hopefully on attack, maybe we'll see Boise State come alive here and be able to finally take a lead. 
Because so far, Wichita has been in the lead this whole map, and this is Boise State's best and most played at the moment. With if we go to a map three, we'll be Haven and Boise State's second most played. So, could be a good possibility. We do see Pizza thinking about that shorty. So, definitely a risky play here, pushing B, going up against the shorty, and it's 5v3. Boise State is all in that room there with a 3-2 split. Two of their members have been taken weak. Boise State has to play a little bit more passively than we would like with that jet. It's a good time to go for that rotation. Omen is at full health with the spike, but two members of Boise State still trying to push through of Shells and Dreammaker. Pizzasaurus is just waiting for them to peek that sight line. Tyson is also so very, very low. coming in the smoke. Ooh, Panda, I don't know if you should be leading this. Shells is going to go down, but so is Pizzasaurus indeed. One for two. Up one going into this next engagement here. Panda's looking for their flank of their life there. He's unable to find any elimination value. That is three to four with two of the, mem two of the weak members on Boise State still alive. Only losing shells for two members to even things out is fantastic. Jabal, 10 HP. We'll nope. just get taken out through the smoke and wall, no less. Oh, Panda's going to get them, though. Panda's going to get at least one of them. They know where that other one's at. Unable to get the elimination oh. so far through the wall. BJ Bag's going to sneak up on Truman and get that elimination. That is three members of Boise State living with all defenders eliminated. Boise State, six to seven. Just one more to tie it up and then two more to take the lead. Bringing back in these early rounds, as we take a look back at the replay of that finale, Truman picks up one, Panda quickly evens it up by taking down Cabal, who's just looking in the wrong direction as he swung an angle. Beautiful Ooh. right click, just three shots to the head, instant death. Full horror Truman on that jet. So now Boise State able to go for, for a full buy on the round two of the swap with Spectres galore in full armor. Time to get aggressive and take it as quickly as possible. Seize the head. That? Got him. J Bag's gonna get that elimination. That should be spike down for Boise State. Need to watch the rear a little bit because there is the omen coming up from behind. Dreammaker the only one there. Not looking to his left. Finally is, gets it as well. Turd immediately is gonna come down, Shell's the only, ooh. Panda's not hitting the shots they need to hit to hold that <laughs> angle against Pizzasaurus. There they go, finally get it. Even after the reload and missing shots, Wichita in shambles right now. And that's exactly where we want Wichita State, honestly. We want to catch up and take this map from them. Truman sitting at almost half Panda HP with the flank. and unable to push. Panda flank. Oh, oh, gets it anyway. J-Bag's gonna get it. He just saw your hand and shot you there. Which is honestly more impressive than a headshot. Just barely hitting the hand that's around the corner. Very impressive. Panda almost didn't make it through this for several reasons here. They had to get the reload. They had to get the eliminations. Pizzasaurus. In shambles. In oh, yeah. I mean, you missed so many open bullets. And then even then, the Omen came in with a pretty good flank, but Dreammaker was just sitting there watching the angle well, because, you know, his teammates had the long angle into the defender spawn. So very well played. So now Wichita's going to have to buy a little bit just so they can try to maintain, whereas Boise State still sitting pretty with their mid buys of a lot of SMGs. Now this time going for the B push. Hard B right into the Killjoy turret. Take it out immediately. Panda not hitting their shots Ooh. against Pizzasaurus. They're going to get the better of Just like down. that. That is all five members of Boise State down because they couldn't hit the shots they needed as they approached this point here. And that's what feels real bad because Boise State had finally gotten the cash equipment advantage there. Seems like we will also have a disconnect on the bottom left. Maybe he came back in time. I'll have to wait and see if Boise State will... And to pausing, or if he comes back in time, it's, we'll go to a pause. There it we go. It does look like we are going I to knew a pause. It. <laughs> just because I remember disconnect there. Boise State almost tying it up. What do we have to do to tie it up and keep winning? I mean, for the attack going up against the defense, I mean, with how quickly they collapsed on B, the pushing on A has been really good. 
You could even start pushing mid, I would say, mm -hmm. just because they've only ever committed one or two members kind of rotating through to try to get there in time, but they haven't had the response on A that they did on B. Maybe that was just lucky prediction of the mind games because, you know, they pushed A twice. Now they'll go B. But at the same time, Boise State, their classic crux of kind of single file formations keep pushing through. Maybe they'll stop firing now. Maybe now. But, no, they never stop firing and you're just running into bullets. It's a huge issue in a lot of these mind games for Valorant. So hopefully we can see Boise State, you know, tighten that up a little bit. But at the end of the day, it's mind games can just be guessing of, a or B, will they stop firing? Well, I'll just push now because I need to for the rest of my team pushing in front of me, which is that single file mentality. But hopefully you see Boise State kind of clear that up. And going into this next round after a little reset of member disconnecting, Boise State went for the full buy, only Shell's not having full armor, whereas on the side of Wichita, Jet's just going to rely on her ultimate for this. Isn't even scouted out either. Ooh, Truman's no. about to get some major Yikes. flicks and misses every knife. Honestly, that's pretty great for Boise State because that were those were two members that stood to be immediately eliminated by that Judd ult. So I don't know. I'm pretty happy with that. Dreamaker is down to half HP, but Truman unable to secure any of it. Once again, Boise State just going with the aggressive push. Panda going to get eliminated before they can even rotate it back into their team there. That is Boise State down one on the jet. Yeah, the Void Storm just able to take him down. Even trade. Big. Nine HP remaining does get on the side. That means Spike goes down. Pressure's on Wichita, and they're performing admirably now, plus one. And with how weak some of the members of Boise State are looking, this might be more than just a plus one here. Cab is going to go down. Dreammaker though, but Dreammaker will also go down. It is now just a solo res. They are unable to do anything there on that final point, and Truman will get the defuse. Yeah, I mean, once again, they had the rotations and collapsed immediately. Sadly, Panda just couldn't get out of the storm in time, and just all that damage and she could not escape, and even the shots from Pizza took him down, and the smokes couldn't even cover him. I mean, it was a brutal rotations of aggressive immediate retreat and just couldn't make it out alive. So now Boise State really needs to, they've been getting on site and getting the plan, fantastic, but they cannot set up the defense. They are just always constantly having to skirmish and try to hold people off and then losing those gunfight engagements. Now kind of going for a half buy here, being down two, only one full armor and a lot of specters, a single sheriff, going up against a full buy of Wichita. It's not looking good for Boise here. I don't think Boise expects to win this round. I hope they're trying to get just some eliminations and maybe even out the eco a little bit. Shells Truman's going to go down first, which is always what we love to see if you're a Boise State fan. To the hands of JBag here. Smoke's going to come out. JBag's unable to find any other eliminations there. At least plus one right now, but Ray is very low. Two members already cycling over to that B area, but a lot of utility committed, as you can see just by the markers on the map for Wichita. Wichita has a very smart defense setup is they commit all of their utility over to B, but commit their members themselves over to A. Jmaker tried to distract him with gunfire. Let's see if they might get aggressive, but Jeff gets the elimination on the shells, leaving Boise State and Wichita State even. And down that ultimate, Boise State is put in a little bit of a difficult position here. Hero does come out to try to scout him out. Will end up being suppressed, so you can't hear nearly as much. Boise State are actually just rotating through tree right now, trying to get over to A. Maybe cut off Tyson as he maybe swings out of this archway. Oh! Teasing getting the elimination onto Dreammaker and j -back. Boise State not looking very good in there. Now Tyson just popping off here with that triple elimination, but W Panda is also popping off, getting the elimination. Oh, now it is just Jet versus Killjoy, and my money's on Panda. Where's yours, Brenner? Killjoy has high ground, which is notorious for me as a Star Wars fan, but Panda has all and gets it with a clean headshot. That's the third clutch we've seen of the night. Two of them belonging to Panda, one of them belonging to Truman. That is absolutely huge for the side. And that's the first jet knife we've seen land all night. Which, well, you know, jet it, land that got an illumination. We've seen knives land, just, not kill. <laughs> just not on heads. It's just clean. The first knife was just dead instant. Just right on him. So very well played by Panda. 
I mean, keeping them, it's, Boise State has yet to, one, be even, and two, then take the lead. And that weird pseudo Byron worked out for them pretty yeah. well. And since they won it, they got a lot of cash, so now they'll be able to, you know, get a few more Vandals on the side of it. But with the Emperors coming online, just going push right into B. Down, B. Getting True collapsed on from behind, Pandra. though. That's not what you're looking for here. J back sees him. Truman gets the elimination yeah, on Dreammaker as well. That's Truman with the double kill. Pizzasaurus and Kaba are also coming out. And I think Boise State, even though they had more armor and better guns that round, I think they're just going to lose. Couldn't get the spike down. Oh. We'll just get pushed Yikes. out. Great flash from Jim. Will be the elimination of Jabal. And a well deserved flawless from Wichita after the previous round. And now Boise State is put back in the difficult position of being at even or less than Wichita State here. And especially being down two rounds, Boise State can't afford to get too far behind. Right now it is two rounds or three rounds away from victory for Wichita right now. I mean, Boise State just being so Five. far behind needs to start closing this distance and They've just been keep having to pseudo half buy rather than save up for a round full buy and then go in. Oh, Truman no. with an early pick though. Not what Devastating. You're Jabal gets the elimination. Still just one for one. Boise State cannot afford these trades. You want to play? Let's play. Panda, Panda says range. no trades, then I'll just get the elimination on the Kaba here. They know he's in that smoke. Panda, please don't get caught out. You know, oh, you knew he was there. Jeem's going to go down immediately after eliminating Panda, leaving Boise State still up one. Able but that to, feels real bad. Able to at least upgrade the guns off the ground that they find. j on the zone, pushing up very aggressively. Dreammaker, well-timed, has the cursor in the right spot, finally, and gets the elimination. That should be spike on point. As J Bald is rotating all the way over through to a long. Spike will finally go down, but Pizzasaurus in this 1v3 does have the kill giant, but I definitely do not expect it to go down now. Save it for the next round. Boys State trying to claw back here. Pizzasaurus, I think, is going for the long flank, but they haven't been able to find anybody yet. Jubag is on the high. Oh, no, he's down below. I thought he was up top. Oh, well, they see her. They're going to get her. And that is Boise State winning with three members still living. And as we go up, we are now only down one round to Wichita State here, 9 to 10, as we go into our next buy phase. Boise State has just had to commit ultimates to win fights at this, or to win rounds at this point. They won the previous... Two, from two rounds ago, the Jet ult. Now this round with the Chamber ult. So hopefully ult, and well, they lost last round when they used the Empress, which was hard loss, but Empress isn't the biggest game changing as it is just for that solo buff and recon. But Truman also now has an op and all five ultimates are up for Wichita. I'm surprised they haven't started committing to these. I think they're trying to just kind of roll and get immediately to match point. Truman getting Ooh. it taken down by Jabald and Panda. Got caught out against the two members. And that's Boise State up one. Gonna have to get aggressive here. Tries Again. to take the high ground, sees him. KO's very low. But so so is, Panda. is Panda. Yeah. Plank goes down very aggressively. That's Jesus what they need to get him. No, he there's one more coming from Tree. He knows somebody's in that hallway. He knows it and he wants it. But he can't push with 11 HP. Oh, there goes the kill, Joy. Taking up the whole site as well. Might just have to sit there and take it. Only 11 HP remaining. Had to go down. They take it like that. And honestly, I mean. First time we're even. With Boise State, four members living. That's pretty good. Boise State can afford to full buy this next round and hopefully get the advantage on Wichita State here, who seem very reluctant to commit any of their ultimates here because they had five and still lost the round. Seems that after a two round or single round win for Boise will be a timeout from the side of Wichita. Once again, Jim calling in that timeout. So maybe member of 
which are not just having technical issues or they just need that timeout. I mean, they did it last round and it did lead them to a win, having that small little break to recuperate. Yep. So hopefully Boise State can do the same thing. But If it's not a disconnect, I bet they're talking strategy because this is the second time that Boise State has caught up to them. And at that point, they need to adjust something because they've lost so many rounds in a row. Yeah, it's definitely been a huge issue for them. So hopefully Boise State will be able to close this out and send us to a map three so they can continue on and not get taken down. I mean, this is the number one seat. So if anyone was going to take Boise State down, at least it's the Same number thing. one seat. Yeah, yeah like, And especially with how neck and neck it is, it's like, all right, we're seed number nine and they're number one. And it's this close. Like, that's definitely putting in question Wichita State right now, which is probably why they need to take these timeouts and just be like, guys, we're number one seed. What's going on? Like, is everything okay? So, Boise State's playing those mind games and could be working out for them right now. But going into this next round, Wichita should definitely commit ults. They're already committing the jet ult, which is exactly what they need to do. But Boise State might need to play this a little bit safer now because they should be expecting that. We haven't ha seen a, ta a ton of success with the Jet Ultimate except for W Panda with that amazing clutch. So maybe the Jet Ultimate won't be as scary as we expect it to be. J Bag knows they want to peek. That corner is just waiting for it. Smoke will go down. He know <laughs> he doesn't know Truman's there, but doesn't know anticipating it's with it. the knives, but knows somebody's over there. And oh no, he's walking right into all those jet knives. This is a horror movie in the making here. Oh, oh, heard one knife go. Boise State going with miss. more of a mid push is definitely exactly what they needed. Just trying to change it up a little bit more. Jabal all by the lonesome over on that A long. Trying to contest Tyson. Whereas both Shells and Dreammaker trying to push through B. 30 seconds left. Jabal just seeing if he can get anybody out there. Just. I mean, he pulled away two members. This is the time where you want to push B. A lot of utility already being costed here. They have to take out Pizza if they want to secure oh, no. it. Pizza's going to take out Panda, which Hunter's is exactly the opposite of what we were wanting here, especially as J Bag and Tyson and Pizza Stores are all going to get eliminations. So that is one final member remaining on the side of Boise State. Going up against three, now four, as Cabo will get the res. Jabal just got a clutch here. Oof. Will be unable to do so. Got two, but not the remaining. Truman did get elimination with the knives, so broke that streak that he had on it. So, Boise State, hard loss. I mean, they had a good engagement, but unable to disrupt Pizza in their corner. Had no smokes to commit or anything. Being suppressed, it's brutal. And then just had to eat the Sova ult. Cost them that rotation. Pizza just... Uncontested in that back corner really cost Boise. They weren't able to get control of sight. They just had to run to it because they ran out of time. You know what, though? If you're going to lose a round, might as well cost them all of their ultimates in that round. Yeah, but it seems this time Wichita's getting aggressive right now. Oh, Truman getting that elimination on W Panda. Not a good omen, especially because they get that double kill on the Dream Maker as well. The three remaining members of Boise State have really got to come up with something tricky if they want to win this round. Yeah, it seems going for the full push on A might do it. Have to wait out the swarm. Herm Last player just now no. discovering pizzas in hell, really and that costs him the entire push. It's once again Jabal, the last survivor. Might get spiked down. Teleport's gone. Ah, nope. can't get the eliminations missed. Just a couple shots too many there on Tyson. So Tyson's going to clean that up. Leaving Wichita State now match at point. match point here. They win this next round. They win the map and they win the game. And Boise State loses the quarterfinals. Boise State's got to commit the Jet Ultimate if we want to try to do this into the Killjoy Ultimate. As well as the Chamber Sniper. I don't, ex I don't see them doing it, but... When it's match point, you, you have gotta. yeah, you have to. It's use it or lose it, because if you lose it, then you lose the round. So, Jabal, the only one unable to buy those, sadly. So he, you, you know he's going to be committing the ult. Play. I was on the side of Wichita. They're sitting pretty right now. Probably going to be getting very aggressive. Four stacked mid, no less. Two and tree. Boise going for the aggressive A push might pay off for them. 
Wichita State is on. We have the spike landed, and we haven't even seen Wichita State yet. Panda being very aggressive through that spike yeah. gets the elimination on the Truman. That's what you're looking for if you're a Wichita State fan tonight. You want to go to a map three. Ooh. Ooh, Panda and Jabal going down immediately as Huge well as Dream Dreammaker. It's all up to JBag. All of our dreams are on JBag to win the 1v2, which is <laughs> winnable, except when Tyson does that. GG's all around. I mean, going this close to Wichita, the number one seed, it's a hard loss for Boise, but it was a hard, hard fight. Like, yep. it was tooth and nail, just back and forth. Wichita barely able to maintain one to two round leads consistently. Yeah, they came away with four kind of in the mid game, but Boise State always brought it back, got the momentum going, so... GG's all around, but Wichita will be the winner. And you expect a close game when you get into the quarterfinals like this, and Boise State gave them more than a run for their money, and sometimes that's all you can do. We got So the 2-0 looks a little bit deceptive, though, because Boise State, they barely won by two rounds, and Boise State more than once won four rounds in a row or three rounds in a row to catch up with Wichita State there. So overall, a great game. Are there any specific players or plays that you'd like to highlight? I mean, Shells with the Aries was fantastic. There was Tyson on the Sova with the Odin. Even though Definitely. these are the enemy teams, still LMGs. Come on, man. Just come on. And then for players specifically, I mean, once again, it's hard not to just say Panda because they had, Absolutely. of course, the biggest impact on the game. I was really happy with how Shells performed, actually, through this match as someone we not highlighted through previous matches, but I yep. very well on the Rhea and even on the prior map, who I forget they played, but these matches go on for so long, you can only remember so much. I believe they might have even... Were they the Rays? Maybe. But still, Shells did very well as more of the utility side. Dreammaker staying on the Silver the entire time, getting a lot of the scouting, the shocking, and had the amazing... Uh, Hunter's Fury play through the hallway, getting the double, finishes oh, yeah. out with a triple. A Absolutely fantastic. I expect that to be in the top five plays, but player of the game, could it's up in the air. It could really go to anybody. And one other specific player that I – so I think player of the game should go to Panda just because of their overall impact on the game. I would say that – Throughout both of the teams, Panda had the most impact of any individual player. It felt like when Panda got picked first, that was about a 70% chance that we were going to lose that round, is what that felt like and what we ended up seeing. But if Panda pops off, gets the first couple of eliminations, we end up winning that round. So we are going to... It does look like it will be Dreammaker here. Nope. Or no, it will be Panda. We were deceived. This just starts with Dreammaker here. Panda getting the elimination on the Kaba. First blood. Always a good omen for Boise State. If Panda gets the first kill, Boise State's going to win the round. But if Panda goes down first, Boise State's probably going to lose that round. And that's the sort of player that deserves to be the ICCU player of the game. And the player of the game is brought to you by Idaho Central Credit Union, who believes a great player makes a team more successful, just like Idaho Central's helping members achieve financial success. And W Panda is the Idaho Central Credit Union player of the game, with a phenomenal performance on the jet, especially on this ascent. Yeah, I mean... We saw the beginning plays on Bind as that's where we were watching Got right it. now and had the master flanks again and again. That's why they play the jet. I mean, it allows for so much of the mobility that they needed again and again, and it paid off for them. And hopefully we can see a great return to this, hopefully next week. But hard loss was hard fought, so yep. still shouldn't be feeling bad going out of it as we took on number one team and lost by... A four round difference. Couple rounds, like, the it, it bare was, minimum. Exactly. Like it was neck and neck. You should come away from this feeling absolutely fantastic. And with that, we are going to wrap up with our top five plays of the game from tonight. <laughs> 